Before there was Jack Levant and Logan Davis, Jonathan Roberts was breaking school records and state records left and right. It was just a lot of fun and it was always great to be a part of, you know, the South Lake Carroll Dragon history, uh, something I'm really blessed to be a part of. Born in 1995, Jonathan spent his first 10 years in Pasadena, California, before he and his family packed up before his fifth grade year to move to South Lake, Texas. During his first year in Texas, Jonathan's father passed away. This was very tough for Jonathan, his mom, and his older sister, Jillian, but something that drove Jonathan to strive to be a better man. It's something that's really cool to try to uphold and carry on that tradition of excellence. Um, we know we had Johnny Roberts and lots of other really great, great swimmers come to this program and just knowing that they came before us and we're carrying that on, that legacy, it's really cool. Roberts was always a very talented swimmer, competing in and even winning events at statewide club meets in the 13-14 age division. During his time in Southlake, he was known for outworking everybody in practice day in and day out. Although Coach Murphy has been a great swim coach for a long time, Roberts admits that he owes so much more to his coach than just that. Coach Murphy has just been, you know, a blessing towards me, you know, just a total gift from God. And he was really just a father figure to me, um, something more than a coach. And like I said, just very blessed to have him. The four years I spent under him um, were really impactful, uh, you know, on my journey as a man. And um, I'm definitely a different person because of him, not only as a swimmer, but also a man. And I just, um, I'm thankful for the time that I've uh, had with Coach Murphy. During his senior year, Jonathan committed to swim at the University of Texas in Austin. Roberts, a senior this year, looks to win his fourth consecutive team national championship next month at the NCAA Championships in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This would make it so that he will have never lost a championship meet in high school or in college. Swimming for such a high caliber team in high school prepared him for swimming for such a phenomenal college program, but not in the way that most people might think. I see some definite similarities between the two teams and um, I definitely think I make the right choice going to Texas. Love swimming here, love the guys. Just going right into UT, it, it was very similar and comparable to something like South Lake Carroll, you know, because not only were the guys so fast, but I think the team culture was just, uh, just something else and, you know, uncomparable to anything nationwide. 